How's it going, everybody? Just making the last, the last minute tweets. I know everyone know we're we're doing this. What we are doing today is using a uh, using my custom or the PC that I built to show that we are actually here at, at Helson Computer Repairs going to start doing custom PC builds. Getting everything set up. get started with the case first get everything that's in here situated then start doing all the hardware on the inside then bring it all together later on first things first these lovely boys together Sorry, I'm not speaking that much. This is actually, the, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most boring things when you start a PC build, putting the case on. So, I 
want the uh, fans to be blowing this way. Sorry about that, I had the wrong the wrong screen up this doing this. Like I said, this is the bo this really should have been done before this, but I wanted to show how easy these these fans are to actually install. Just pop them in, slide, grab the end of the case right here, and
last one. There's just a single fan for the back. All we're gonna do is simply put the like that. This one I'm going to just like basically put in, but I'm not going to tighten them because I want to make sure that when we put the CPU cooler later on, it's actually like lined up to where it'll give like the most airflow going out versus like if like the cooler's down here and this is up like up here, it won't really make that much sense. But hey, Zell, what's up, man? Doing a doing a PC uh, basic PC build. As mentioned, like we are are opening up basically commission builds. Oh, am I am I quiet? How's this? All right, how's this now? I this this raised up the. Uh, Raises up the gain. All right, how how is my my quality now? For an answer, I'm just gonna continue. Now for the meat of the of the PC, the actual PC part itself. I will go ahead and say that this is, like I said, this is my personal build. I already know that all these components work. I was just doing a really deep cleaning and wanted to show, use this to show that we're doing this now. That being said, any questions that you might have, let me know. And I can I answer them as best I can. Let me just raise this a little bit more. How's that? Okay. Double check how much how this goes. One.
to see my hat make a brief cameo into this. I've only done this. This uh, Oh look, there's a train. Great. I've only done this or this particular CPU cooler one time. That's when actually one of the first time I ever put it on. So I had to double check like how do how do you work with this? CPU here is a Ryzen 5 5600X. Basically, dollar for dollar, this is like the price to performance gaming peep or a CPU. There we go. The funny thing about about me doing a Ryzen 5th uh, gen is that this is a, possibly one of the last 5th gens I'm going to be doing for a while because Ryzen 7 gen is about to come out. But unfortunately for me, I don't have the money to get a new one, so I'm just sticking with what I know works, and honestly, like, I have really no reason to switch anyway, because I like the PC that I made exactly what I needed for, so, heck with it. Scythe Puma 2, as I, as I mentioned before. You can see the little Scythe right there. It's a very, very good uh, PC, or PC cooler. Actually gives even, like, Noctua, or Noctua coolers a run for their money, which is amazing. Because this thing is cheaper. I think this is only 50 bucks in terms of the price, so... For a, for a tower cooler like this, not bad. <laughs> And Here is the reason I say this is actually a really even cooler, cooler fan. No fun, no pun intended. This time, but the 
fan I just put is going to be blowing this way. This fan, which is the front one, is going to be blowing this way. So it's actually countering the, the, the fan movement, which is going to make it where it actually makes it where this thing is so freaking quiet. At times, I can't even tell it's on. Now we're moving on to the little M.2 driver we have right here. These I personally cannot recommend enough for those who are looking into buying a new computer for themselves because any like it's basically the less wire wires you have to put into a PC, the better off you're going to be in terms of your sanity. One I'm currently putting in this little heatsink right here is a 500 gig hard drive. Just basic, as basic as they come. Perfect for a boot, or for booting up, like, or your main hard, or your main uh, main programs, and really like any anything that you, like you're gonna be using, such as like your editing software, your Twitch, like your Twitch OBS, your, like any of your major files, that's what I would recommend for the small one. And there we are. Doesn't even, like, you can't even see it anymore. Look at that. See? Lovely. Good. Now, what I meant by small one, well, that's simple. Got another one right here. This is a terabyte. This is my, my or the bulk storage drive. I deliberately got this as a quote unquote weaker version. Like it's an older gen, so I think it's only a gen 2. I'm like, it's perfect in terms of how much like I'm just using it for game storage, my Steam like my Steam library, my Epic Games library, any like any like anything I download like emulators or anything like that all goes onto this bad boy right here. And this little guy is my Wi-Fi card. Don't really need a Wi-Fi card these days, but it came with it, so use it basically. Came, they came bundled with the board. This little, this guy right here. You'll see me messing with this later. No 
idea why they only put this on the beat, or why they only put this little heatsink on this one and not on that one. Hi, Cryptic. What's up, man? And no, I'm not. That's a lie. Alright, so we got everything set up here. Let's, let me manage the cables and all that. Make sure everything good. And now we'll add the RAM. Ooh, a sil like a like a pink, blue, and 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 white build. That'd be so cool, actually, to do. Let's bring this guy up here. Little bit of a mixed message there, Cryptic. Like, don't listen to me, except listen to me. are just to let you guys see this bring it up here uh, come on focus but anyway these are 8 gig sticks of DDR3 of DDR4 at 3200 speed which is actually like the sweet spot in terms of AMD CPUs could be a little bit faster but I didn't want to pay the extra the extra twenty bucks. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. Like I, like I could definitely get a lot more, like a lot more out of it. But I did this didn't want to, <laughs> especially considering I had to go put all my money into this this bad boy right here. The Radeon Quick FX XFX sixty seven hundred XT. That will go right here. I'm not gonna install it just yet because, well, I need to get the case back out. Before that, though, I'm gonna let you guys decide. There. Every single one of the builds that I do. Has something very or in common with with it. They all have custom cables like these little cable extensions. Doesn't really do anything for performance, but it makes your com your computer look a lot better. So I'm gonna let you guys choose. You want the black or the black, silver, and white, or just pure white. The reason I'm doing this in a slur will be explained in a second, but I need to make sure that it is like chosen really quickly, basically. You know it. That's actually kind of what I was going for, like. The as you can see with the with the fans like it's silver black and and gray. I was like, "Fuck it, let's go Spurs colors." But also, I could also mix and match where it's like the white like one white cable, one black cable, and all that. But I'll just keep what I had 
bring these guys back out. The reason I'm asking now is because it is impossible to... This piece, or this little connection right here that my finger is pointing to, there is not a single PC builder alive who likes this one. Because if you don't do it right now, it is the most difficult thing to plug in, especially when you got one of these. So, I'm take care of that right now. are the uh, PC cables for the graphics card and this is the one for the 24 pin main connector and as I said like I make it a point every single PC that I build no matter what budget will get these uh, this cable right here because of the fact that when you have it in the case Assuming that your case is like a standard a standard size one It will be very hard to actually get into this cable. So it's always recommended Get this done as soon as possible Because if you don't you're gonna basically have to like get like a long pair of needle nose pliers and surgically put it in basically but you got these guys right here. The cool thing is that we're already almost we're already done with everything that I'm gonna put on the actual motherboard itself. Like I I can kinda of try to get these little guys like put on already, which actually I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is also, these little connections right here are also kind of a pain in the ass. That's really my own doing than anything else. Actually, what am I doing? I'm going to take this out and put it in later. The little, like I said, it's a little Wi-Fi card it goes right onto the board. And when I bought the board, like I didn't actually expect to get one, but it, it came with it like a bundle. So I was like, "Oh, sweet! These things are usually like twenty dollars." Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, double check. Let me check what he posted. Yeah. You'll see this guy in a little bit. The only other cable I'm going to plug in right now is this, which will be for the RGB phone later. As before, basically try to get everything done as quickly or as efficiently as possible. We're going to put this guy right here and bring back. It gets a little precarious.
that double-edged sword because you want to get this thing in first, but god damn is it hard to actually get this in. Lowered it just as much as I could, just in case. Looks like it is actually where it's supposed to be. Good thing. Now. Why well, it's a good thing also to have long screws. As soon as you're done. Starting to gather up. Let's go, sorry. There is a like only thing you have to worry about for bring on my mic a little bit so you can hear me on this one. The only thing you have to worry about for these is that there is a way to, to do it properly. So, like, back to forward, or forward to back, and that'll determine which one goes into slot one right here. 
this one, two, three, four. There is a way to, like, it is, it does make a difference on which one you post where. So I'm wanting it to go from back to forward, so I'm going to make this one number three. Funny thing is, I can't remember if I made the original set number one, the blue, or the, uh, or this one number one, or the other one number one. So we're gonna find that later. But the good thing about this guy is that everything plugs in right here, all set. Be right back, everybody.
Sorry about that, everyone. I couldn't find this cable. This is actually the SATA power for this guy right here. So, kind of important. A little important, yes. the audio cable. A lot of people actually just leave this unplugged. I use it because it's there. Why not? Sometimes it's simpler that way, you know? Necessary cables for this. I already have them all set up right here. And I will say, I put two of these in here. I don't need to, but it's always good to have. Like, just in case I decide to put an extra in the future, or something comes up with the other. Say the cables. Oh, this like this actually isn't my my uh, my mic. This is actually I am at a friend of mine's shop, so this is all his stuff. And ironically enough, he has a boom mic. That's actually what I'm really gonna say. Big boy. Even though I've never seen this before, it's a 28 pin connector, so we're getting even more power. Surprisingly, the thing's not being picked up by the mic. God. Uh, I am moving at the end of the month. I'm getting gonna get told by my new comp or by the new company like when the. Uh, like when they want me to get up there. Yeah, there was a train coming, passing by. Like, the one problem with this, like, the, the shop is that it's right next to a train track. So, every now and again, you'll hear a train. This, this is just the way that it is.
this little cable right here is the only thing I'm that that's the good thing about M.2 storage is that that's the only cable you're gonna need a SATA for. But if I wanted to add, I could add up to three, uh, M or three ones right here for this one, this one, and this one, and we could make it go from there. Shiny, oh, shiny Umbreon and shiny Sylveon. Ooh, those would be fun. So white, white, light blue, and and pink, and then black, and then light, then light blue. I like, I like the idea. I'm, I'm only going to build for you if you are in like financially okay with being or with it like don't use all your money just because I'm a friend or anything like that I will say no oh yeah I know I'm, I'm brown for you I know that that's that's your favorite Pokemon When I was building, designing this one, like I could have gone with many different different themes, but I was like, you know what? I like I like this simple blue. Like RGB looks the best on white. Like you're gonna like when if I build this one for you, you're gonna find that out personally that that hers is gonna look a lot shinier than yours does. Ironically enough, but. Hey, you know what? That's a good that's a good goal for her. Tell her that if she raises about a thousand dollars, she can get a decent one. Like, it won't be the best, but it will be at least it'll get her get her able to play like the basic games. Like, I'm assuming that she wants to play like Fortnite, Minecraft, all that good stuff. Which, personally speaking, I am never going to judge you for what your gaming preference is because of the fact. That it's not really my my call to judge anybody. All right, so I'm gonna move this one back onto its side. Just to power on the reset LEDs for this one, I don't have a reset switch on my computer because I always just do that by hardware or software anyway. So don't need to don't need to put it on. As I said, 
the P. The this honestly, like Zell, if I were to build for both of you, it probably would be this card for both of them. It's not the fanciest one, but it'll do. It'll do 4K gaming. It'll do everything you need it to. And in the end, you're, like as much as I like saying that my builds are art, if you're looking at your build more than or the game, I did my job wrong. See what I'm doing. Notice this one's a little bit, or is actually different. I, I, I took this little uh, trick from Jay's Two Cents on YouTube, where you take a bunch of the these little these little bracket things, cut them up, and you use that to. Basically, act like a wedge to help out with GPU sag. Then I was like, you know what, that's a, that it's not helping as much, and I got myself a, a little bracket anyway. Oh well. So, I wish I could change it, but I can't, because I don't have another one, so we're just going to go with this. I realize I have to take this out because I forgot one thing I actually said I was going to do and then
I even mentioned I needed to put this in and I forgot the Wi-Fi card. Uh, again, like I said, I don't really need this. Like this is just redundancy for like when I when my when the uh, Ethernet like pops out, but it's always a nice thing to have. Especially if it's free. Almost like it's not worth it. This is not gonna, this is a temporary hold, but I don't care. It's gonna make it where I can actually work on this kind of thing. What's not worth it? The the Wi-Fi card, like these little, these two little asshole pins right here that I'm pointing at 
are really hard to get on. And they pop out really easily. So, it's, like, it's almost like it's not worth it to put them on. But I'm going to do it anyway because I want Wi-Fi on my PC. Got some tape on them. Good. At least hold them down for a little while. And we can go from there. really impressed with how fast I've gotten this done lately. The fact that it's only been basically an hour. Good. I'm happy with this so far. these two right here worth anything right now Technically, I didn't need to take these out like that now, but I forgot if I did or not, so it was like, better safe than sorry. There are some cases where you actually, like, they have vertical mounts like this, you have to take them out, or else it will, like, not let you take out the, the side ones right here, which are the more important ones. We are done with that. Alright, let's bring this back sideways. Uh, 
giant spaghetti mess. Don't want it. Don't like it. And there it goes. Just pop that. I am just going to have to deal with this later. Popped out again. Like I said, these things are very hard to keep in. So, I'll just come back later, like personally, or privately, put some tape in, so like some hot glue on there, make sure that those aren't taken out. For now, though, just. Put over there on the side. Just forget about it for now. That looks nice. Found these metal clip things, I found them on Amazon for like 10 bucks, I think. 10, 20. But it just makes them look so much better. I am one who is all about aesthetic, so this is the type of stuff that I will actually spend money on to make sure that it looks right, because in my opinion, if you're spending as much money as some computers cost, they shouldn't just look like a, or they shouldn't just look like the ones that you just have under your house, or under your, not under your house, under your, under your desk in a, in a box, or in like the entertainment spot. Or anything like that. Like they should be, they should be, like shown off. One of the main pro, one of the main things to do with that is the cable manual, which is what I'm gonna do right now. You can see, like I got a lot of, I have only four main cables to manage, but. Thing is, like you have to get this just right, or else it won't, like it won't close right. Bit of a bit of a design flaw on that one. Two things I need to put in real quick. I'm really gonna do this real quick. This guy. The GPU sag bracket, which 
was right there on the end. Gives a little bit extra color, so that's always a nice thing. As well as doing its job, which is to make sure that this thing does not like bounce around. This is what it looks like at with it. What it looks like without it. Preferably if I got a new case for myself, I get one that actually lets me mount the ZPU vertically. Because those in like those are a lot better in terms of they look nicer and it's a, it's actually a way to alleviate some of the stress on the GPU is to put it sideways instead of, or vertical instead of horizontal. Is that the or the USB C on the front? And now we're gonna worry about worry about all of this all of this I, my least flat favorite slash favorite thing to do scale management is one of those things where if you put as much time as you need to put into it you're never gonna be done <laughs> yes you were a little bit of behind the scenes there you probably saw me for a second Normally I'd use electrical tape, but right here, so why not? Basic little... Uh, not much at the top of my head. Well, that's enough there, Phil. These little connectors right here are very, very picky. Actually, that's why I like the the uh, Lee and Lee fans a lot more because they have the their own proprietary one. These things can easily just pop right out, and then you're just like, oh wait, why is this not lighting up? Oh, it's not plugged in. Why is it not plugged in? What the fuck? It happens all the time, and it's annoying every single time. <laughs> I didn't actually say what the uh, case was. This is the the Corsair uh, A74 275 Airflow. Possibly one of the nicest cases I've, I've built in for under $100. Very simple to, to use. Very, like, it is, like, extremely user-friendly. Like, you see all of these tie-down points, all... Like, at least, like, all the stuff that they have for the, well, for the ability of cable management and all that, it is very good. And like I said, it's, when I bought it, it was under, I think it was only 70 bucks, which is not bad at all for a case, considering that they can be, like, cases are, like, Rightfully so, in my opinion, but cases can be one of the most expensive things you you buy that or that you can that look or looks wise for your PC because of the fact that case the case itself is the main thing you are able to bring up. Like a case is a case. Like yes, like 
there's not much or innovation with cases other than like putting like where you can see the back so it was like cable management is a lot, a lot bigger deal but like nine times out of ten whenever someone upgrades their computer they just upgrade their computer itself and leave the case as it is because it's like they already spent the hundred dollars one time so might as well get something else In fact, this is the only thing in this in this particular computer I have not upgraded at all, including including the the side RGB lights that were already installed installed onto it the last time. Power supply, the fans, like everything in here, it's not the original thing I bought when I first got this computer. That's not going to stop me in the future because I'm going to probably keep it from keep the case and keep everything from Cases typically range anywhere from a hundred, but an average case will run you about 80 bucks. If you want anything a little bit fancier, probably about a hundred, hundred and ten. The extremely fancy ones are anywhere from 130 to about $400. They make bigger and more lavish cases, but I'm actually scared to touch those. Like those would be like, oh god, I don't like if I mess up, this is worth more than the the PC itself type of thing. So not worth it. At least to me, like unless you're unless you're going for like I wanna make this the most lavish, garish thing possible. Like you can do well by just paying like two hundred dollars at max for a case. for the zip ties and cutters. And these, this is my cutter. Literally no difference other than the fact they're mine. In terms of cable management, these are make they basically will make or break you depending on how much you put on or how much you don't put on. Like I'm not gonna One thing you're noticing I'm not doing though is I'm not like like I'm put I'm making them snug but I'm not making it where I could go further down. Or like make or uh like squeezing it as much as I can because you want these the like cables you kind of want to breathe, or for lack of a better term. You don't want to crimp or risk crimping them, or else you'll lead to more problems down the line in the future.
anybody who has just tuned in, I was going to remind you that as, as slated in the title, like, we are offering custom builds like this one. It'll, like, by, if you want them to be streamed, we can do that. If not, we'll just get them to you. We'll work with any budget, any, like, ship anywhere across the country. And yeah, like it's honestly like this this type of stuff is is a fun is honestly fun for me. Budget of six hundred dollars, actually, a lot more than you would think we could. I'm not even kidding. Like there, uh, like it'd be an esports machine. It wouldn't be able to run like anything bigger than like my. Anything bigger than Minecraft and maybe Fortnite or maybe Fall Guys, but it'd be a computer. It'd be a really good office computer, actually, at that. Yeah, like... Oh yeah, like a, definitely an office server, home home media PC. That's that for six hundred would get you an amazing one. You could even get a, a cheap graphics card for that much. If I'm being completely honest, the average uh, gaming PC, like a good one, would run you probably about nine hundred dollars, which uh, uh, again is a lot of money. But with a computer, like or with a computer, you're basically it's an investment. So you put out, you get how much you put into it. If you put a thousand dollars into it, you're gonna get a thousand dollars out of it, if not a lot more. But you only put like twenty dollars into it, you're not gonna get that much. <laughs> I mean the sixteen, the sixteen sixty is a, or is still a great graphics card. Like it's not the best one, but in terms of the, like, in terms of the last generation, the GTX versus RTX. If you're doing like lower end gaming, you're doing stuff like this, like watching YouTube, doing like basic stuff as basically like a high up, a higher end office computer. The 1660 is a great graphics card for that. I, if you're if you're trying to get into bigger gaming, like I definitely would recommend upgrading to at least a 2060, or you can get your hands on one a, a 3050. But for the like, for the fact of like, if you're not doing anything more than just watching movies and maybe playing like some doing some light gaming, that's perfect. Gonna get these last this last one here. Then 
gonna put one more for good measure. As I said before, like it's never a bad thing to overdo it on the on the zip ties. Just be warned, like if you ever have to get anything out, that's like that's a, that could be a future problem, is it? But for now, that that that. That one's gone. Oops. Why not? I got one right there. By no means the best cable management I've ever done, but definitely not the worst, I can tell you that. So. Especially considering that. That's what you're going to be looking at all the time anyway. Click, that's exactly what we want. And we have liftoff. All oh, the beautiful rainbow vomit. Whenever I build a PC, I always like calling this the untamed mode. As soon as it goes back, like as soon as it gets into the into the hard drive though, like as soon as it goes into it. Should go back to normal, but for now I'll take it. I'll take it for what it is. This is like what I said. Like white, in terms of RGB, just it just looks a lot better than black. Honestly, like it, like it just reflects everything. Like you can see, like on my hand, kind of like, but right here, like it, it just reflects it. I, I honestly love the way that it looks on on. Or uh, white versus black. Yeah, it's lowering the lowering the brightness a little bit just to like really emphasize what I'm talking about. One second. As you can see like it, it just looks a lot better. I have it set on just basic rainbow stuff because I just wanted to show what it would look like when I when we first build it for you guys. Like I'm gonna go in later on, configure everything to make it look the way that I like it to look, which is actually where everything is blue. Every like everything is blue and white. So it's like blue, white, black and and silver. Very good like a very good color combination. Windows 11 is not bad. Like honestly, I didn't like it at first, but 
as more and more things come out, definitely gonna put it in Windows 11. This into this thing, probably down the line. Oh my god, it's the emotes. I see the emotes. What are those? Those are... Those are the Pokemans. Coolest thing is that you can the fact that it's on right now and can't hear it at all. Like the I make like sound is the one major thing for me, and these fans are like it's like they're on. You can see that they're spinning, but they are damn silent. What does the seal? It look, it looks like the um, the Gen the Gen Seven water starter. I cannot remember the that one's name. Poplio, yes. I will say this, like, uh, one of the colors that actually goes really good with blue, or with with black, is blue. So I'm gonna try to keep this off and just. Lay it down flat. Going to our chatting screen, because why not? Yeah, like, why it goes good with this, right? Like, any type of color, like, it, it complements it. Blue and black go wonderfully together. Like, it's like a tried and true combination is blue and black. Red and black as well. Green, actually, ironically enough, does, in my opinion, does not go that well with black. Because, to me, it, it just screams Razor. And unless you wanted to just scream Razor, probably best not to use, uh, use green. Yeah, like this is hour forty-seven. Not bad. Not a bad time in terms of like it was maybe maybe about an hour and a half in terms of the build. Hmm. Yeah, the. Uh, Making sure this looks. There we go. Now all these are this facing this way. Yeah, like.
Like, that's the main thing about me personally is that it doesn't matter if it is like one of these or if it is this is a basic office PC. I'm going to make sure that they look just this good. Because, again, why wouldn't you want something that good? Oh, shit, they're getting another Hologate Tower? You going to go uh, work back there again, or are you, are you still going to look for something bigger? Yes, we we do do melons. I should say specifically, uh, uh, Robbie, the owner of the building, does or does them. Like you'll send them to his shop. Basically, I can't take credit for anything other than the builds themselves. Like I'm just basically using his his stuff. But they do do or uh, PC or uh, phone cases, PC builds. Working at or doing deep cleans for PS4s, Xbox Ones, Switches, all that good stuff. The yeah, event might be not not be bad. Like I like I said, though, you definitely like if you're not if you're willing to move, definitely try to get where I was at. Yeah, like the main thing, the main thing above all else that we wanted to use this for is to show that we do these. This is the best way to, just the best way to do that, best way to get everything set in. Yeah, I feel that. That's not that's not a big like a deal breaker or anything like that. Like I said, like the main thing is if you order a PC from us, probably like unless Robbie himself wants to take a couple of them, they'll probably be done by me out of the Fort Worth area which is a good a good thing for that is that I'm actually going to be next to a micro center I'm going to be able to get any of the computer parts that I need for basically that day get them get them built the day of and then shipped out the next day so the very good that's very useful like I said like we can work with as much like any budget any like, we can also do upgrades. This will give you the address to ship it to and have you go from there. And we're about done for the night. Definitely don't want to keep you, keep you here too long. But thank you all for joining me. And uh hope